The question says the oxidation number of phosphorus in the given compound. We have to calculate the oxidation number of phosphorus in the given compound. Okay, there are two methods by which we can easily calculate the oxidation numbers. Now pay attention very carefully. The compound we have that is barium and this is what H2 and it is PO2 whole twice is there. Now pay attention very carefully. You can see this portion is given two times and there is only one barium atom is given there, only one barium atom. So now you can see we can crisscross this number. Two will go on the left side, first one is always positive and one will go on the right side, it is always negative. Okay. Now from here we got it is as 2 and it is what PO2 it is having what kind of charge minus 1 charge is there minus 1 charge is there. From here we can easily calculate the oxidation number of phosphorus. This is one method. So let's calculate. We have it is as 2 and it is PO2 and this is what minus 1 is there. Okay this is polyatomic ion. So total charge of this polyatomic ion is is equal to minus 1 okay and then you can see hydrogen is attached to phosphorus phosphorus is a non-metal hydrogen attached to non-metal always shows a plus 1 oxidation number there are two hydrogen each hydrogen is what plus 1 then we have phosphorus then there are two oxygen each oxygen is what minus 2 is there okay simplify then we have plus 2 then phosphorus it is minus 4 is equal to minus 1 then phosphorus minus 2 is equal to minus 1 then phosphorus is equal to minus 1 plus 2 and is equal to we got plus 1 okay so phosphorus you can see is present in plus 1 oxidation number directly also you can calculate the oxidation number pay attention carefully now let's say we have the same compound this is your barium okay and then we have as 2 it is PO2 and hole twice is there barium is a second group element second group element present in any compound in the universe will always show plus 2 oxidation numbers always will show plus 2 oxidation number here we have plus 2 plus how many hydrogen are there 2 to the 4 4 hydrogen and each hydrogen is what plus 1 is there then phosphorus how many phosphorus 2 phosphorus are there and then how many oxygen are there there are 4 oxygen 2 to the 4 and each oxygen is what minus 2 is equal to 0 now we can simplify we got plus 2 plus 4 plus 2p minus 4 to the 8 is there okay so we got minus 8 is equal to 0 is there okay 4 plus 2 plus 6 is there then 2p and minus 8 is equal to 0 then 2p minus 2 is equal to 0 so p is equal to plus 2 by 2 is equal to we got plus 1 okay so by that method also you can calculate the oxidation number of phosphorus and I hope this method is quite easier because in this case a simple method is there simply you find out the charge of this polyatomic ion for this group you know in which phosphorus is present then you can calculate the oxidation number of phosphorus and uh, then we get uh, the correct option is what option A is there.